Here are some examples of how to handle challenging coaching scenarios, applying the core coaching competencies per the three different credentialing levels. Scenario 1. Client resistance to change. Core competency number 3. Establishes and maintains agreements. ACC level. When a client resists change, start by clearly defining the outcomes of the coaching engagement. Ask open-ended questions to understand their perspective and clarify any ambiguities. For example, what are your thoughts on the changes we discussed? This helps in setting a mutual understanding of what the client wants to accomplish. PCC level. Engage in deeper inquiry to understand the client's underlying beliefs and values that may be causing resistance. For instance, what concerns do you have about making this change? Address any conflicts or concerns that arise and work with the client to resolve them. MCC level. Notice subtle shifts in the client's energy and emotions. Adapt the agreement in real time to ensure it remains aligned with the client's evolving needs. For example, I noticed you seemed hesitant when we talked about this change. Can you share more about what's coming up for you? Scenario 2. Building trust with a skeptical client core competency number 4. Cultivates trust and safety. ACC level. Acknowledge the client's insights and validate their thoughts and feelings. Create a safe space for them to express themselves. For example, I appreciate you sharing your concerns. It's important that you feel comfortable and understood. PCC level. Demonstrate deep respect for the client's autonomy and individuality. Actively listen and validate their experiences. For instance, I respect your perspective and want to understand more about what you're experiencing. MCC level. Engage with the client as an equal partner. Recognize and address the client as a whole person, considering their values, beliefs, and broader life context. For example, let's explore how your values and beliefs are influencing your current situation. Scenario 3. Navigating emotional outbursts. Core competency number 5. Maintains presence. ACC level. Exhibit curiosity and acknowledge the client's feelings without judgment. Allow the client to direct the conversation. For example, I can see this is a difficult topic for you. Would you like to talk more about what's on your mind? PCC level. Engage both the who and the what of the client's narrative. Allow for silence, pause, and reflection. For instance, let's take a moment to reflect on what you're feeling right now. MCC level. Maintain a flow in the conversation while allowing the client to lead. Leverage silence as a powerful tool for deeper reflection. For example, take your time. I'm here to support you as you process these emotions. Scenario 4. Client struggling with self-awareness, core competency. Number 7. Evokes awareness. ACC level. Help the client view situations from different perspectives. Ask questions that encourage reflection. For example, what other ways can you look at this situation? PCC level. Explore the client's identity and context. Share observations and insights in a clear manner. For instance, I've noticed that you often mention feeling stuck. What do you think is contributing to that feeling? MCC level. Facilitate the exploration of deeper underlying narratives. Use stories, metaphors, and imagery to evoke awareness. For example, imagine your current situation as a story. What role are you playing and how might you change the narrative? Scenario 5. Client lacking motivation. Core competency number 8. Facilitates client growth. ACC level. Focus on helping the client create action plans. Partner with them to translate insights into concrete actions. For example, what small steps can you take this week to move towards your goal? PCC level. Design post-session actions and methods of accountability tailored to the client's needs. For instance, let's set up a plan for how you'll track your progress and stay motivated. MCC level, check in for progress in spontaneous ways. Sense and reflect on the client's progress and adjust the approach as needed. For example, how have you been feeling about your progress? Is there anything we need to adjust to keep you motivated? By applying these competencies in real coaching sessions, you can effectively handle difficult scenarios 
and support your clients in their journey towards growth and transformation.